As a former editor at the New York Times, I'm often asked why the paper has abandoned all pretense at impartiality and has become really a mouthpiece for the Democratic Party and the resistance movement against Donald Trump. This question came to mind when I picked up the Times on April 20th and saw the paper's hysterical, hyperbolic coverage of Bill O'Reilly's ouster from Fox News, which the Times had actually engineered with its splashy reporting on O'Reilly's purported sexual harassment of female colleagues at Fox. The thrust of that day's paper was devoted to O'Reilly's firing. The paper ran a four-column photograph of O'Reilly shaking hands with Pope Francis on the day that O'Reilly's alleged sins caught up with him. A two-column headline normally reserved for wars, terrorist attacks, and national disasters, and a lead story, an accompanying news analysis, a screaming all-caps, lights-out-for-O'Reilly headline on the front page of the business section, along with even two additional stories. And while I was absorbing this time's schadenfreude, their pleasure in the downfall of cable news' top-rated conservative voice, three thoughts came to my mind. My first thought was of the late Abe Rosenthal, the storied executive editor of the New York Times, whose gravestone reads, he kept the paper straight. Abe, I thought to myself, you must be turning in your grave. My second thought was of Arthur Ox Sulzberger Jr., the paper's politically correct leftist publisher, who after three decades atop the masthead, has finally found an editor after his own heart in Dean Baquet, the executive editor. And my third thought was of a cover story I wrote for Manhattan Inc. magazine about Pinch Sulzberger when he was just taking over the paper from his father, Punch. I wrote back then, for the Browning yearbook of 1970, 18-year-old Arthur Jr. posed for a photograph with the other editors of the school newspaper. The picture shows Arthur looking lank-haired and faintly British. It was accompanied by a satirical transcript of an imaginary editorial conference in which Arthur responded to a request for story ideas with the following statement. He said, I guess I could do an article on how the New York Times slants the news. This is Ed Klein, Confidential. Ed Klein Confidential is brought to you by Birch Gold Group, the precious metal IRA specialists. Protect your savings with gold. Learn how free. Just call 800-422-3388, 800-422-3388, or click on birchgold.com ed for this free offer.